everybody, this is Becky Legiro. I'm here with Donna of Spice VC, and we are in Dubai at the AIBC. And Donna was just on stage at BSV Hour with Jimmy Wynn and some others. Um, but first of all, Donna, I wanted to talk about Dubai, because this is your home turf. I know you have many homes, many, many countries, uh, but I know that you know this region very, very well. So talk to me about the, the energy, the excitement here that is in Dubai, especially when it comes to surrounding the blockchain space. So um, I actually am from Kuwait um, and nothing makes me prouder to see the GCC, especially certain countries like Dubai, Sharjah, you know, Ras Al Khaimah, Abu Dhabi, even Saudi, really starting to revolutionize the government sector, the agriculture sector, the education sector, you name it. And they're applying technology and innovation across the board. And they're moving at lightning speed. And what's wonderful is they're actually collaborating with companies. So as companies have regulations to be able to create and innovate, they're also creating this feedback loop where governments can also tweak their policies as they go along. So it's a very hand-in-hand -hand kind of approach, um, which other countries actually are, are sorely lacking and they're not progressing as quickly. We're coming out of this post-pandemic recovery uh, a lot of countries are, are crippled um, because they're on their knees, they need funding, millions of jobs lost. And um, one of the best ways to kind of reboot the economy is to work on innovation and tech and attracting foreign direct investment, attracting innovators and companies. And some countries around the world have been so fearful of, you know, actually announcing policies or, or pushing forward on legislation that they are no longer holding on to those entrepreneurs and that innovation. And so Dubai has done an amazing job at just, you know, saying we haven't figured it out yet, but we, we are building policies hand in hand with the innovators. So it's um, back and forth, but it's always moving forward. And I think that's what you're feeling here is that energy. Um, and it's across a lot of sectors. And I know on stage you also mentioned that women are underrepresented when it comes to blockchain VC, also just with banking and with property. So can you speak to me a bit about this passion of yours? Because I know you, you are very passionate about it. Yeah, I am. Yeah, well, I'm a woman. I've yeah. been in tech for, you know, what, 30 years, uh, co-founder of Yahoo Europe. So I built Yahoo Europe when I was 19 years old. It's a long, long time ago. And so having been in tech for a very long time as one of the few women back then, but now it's changing or it has changed, let's say. Yes, I always had as a private agenda, let's say, to empower women, to invest in women. I'm working right now on three funds, I think, that focus on investing in women, as well as um, Spice VC, as we mentioned earlier, that focuses on, you know, black blockchain infrastructure. 42% of women around the world are unbanked, right? And if you don't have a bank account, you can't do very much. There is no empowerment, there's no financial independence. And a lot of um, countries around the world, especially the poorer countries, um, don't have women, mostly women don't have IDs, they don't have passports. So again, without a passport, without an ID, you can't have a bank account, you can't own land, et cetera, et cetera. Last year, I spoke for the Panama government on uh, female empowerment and how women can help in like a post-COVID recovery. And what's really interesting is if you actually look at the statistics, female-led companies perform better, innovate better, train more people, you know, so um, women should be a part of the conversation. And I do want to also say that this region of the world, uh, especially Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Saudi, have been making huge, huge progresses in the space as well. Um, so um, I think it's one third of companies now in the GCC have women on their boards. So there's still improvement to be done, but the legislation is now coming down on you have to integrate women into the workforce. And they're really, really making great, great uh, inroads and progress on that because we are part of the conversation. We are part of the discussion, right? Amazing. I actually just spent some time in Saudi Arabia and was really pleasantly surprised by how much I was welcomed and women are having much more uh, freedom there now, which is great. I've been seeing all these social media pictures with you and Jimmy Wynn and I've had total FOMO and now I get to meet you and that's fantastic. But I just wanted to know what, what you guys discussed when you're talking about blockchain. What, is, what interests you about BSV blockchain in particular? And just talk to me a bit about that. Yeah, so I'm very privileged and honored to have Jimmy not only as a very dear friend, but also someone I collaborate with. And mainly the conversations that we have are similar actually to the people he collaborates with, yourself, the team, uh, like-minded around actually using blockchain as an infrastructure 
to help countries, to help citizens, to help uh, communities. My frustration is that today we're still in a very um, early stage of, of blockchain and therefore there isn't much knowledge, especially when someone doesn't come from the tech sector, let's say like a government official, right? They just don't know because they don't come from tech. And um, there is a confusion between blockchain and crypto. And so, you know, I was just telling Jimmy um, that I was searching, you know, online uh, to prepare for the stage today. And every time you type in, you know, blockchain Morocco, let's say, all of the search results were actually crypto related articles because there's just um, still a lack of understanding. And that has to do with the kind of events that are these um, education, uh, going into universities, doing collaborations with universities to teach kids um, uh, the differences between blockchain and crypto. So to answer your question, I think it's about using blockchain to do good. And I don't mean that in the sort of trite way. I mean, actually helping um, streamline processes, create transparency, um, you know, try to reduce corruption in certain countries. So, so this is what we believe in using blockchain for. Exactly. And Jimmy, as he said at the conference, blockchain needs to be useful. That's our message. Donna, it's been such a pleasure to meet you in person. Thank you so much for your time. And I'll see you next time in Dubai. And thank you guys so much for watching. It's Becky Lajiro for CoinGeek.com. This May in Dubai. The BSV Global Blockchain Convention will bring together communities and unveil new breakthrough technologies. You'll be ushered into a world of collaboration and innovation where you can network with hundreds of expert practitioners, pioneer thinkers, leaders, professionals, and entrepreneurs. Learn from forward-thinking brands and startups. Discover functional applications that enhance end user experiences and create value and utility. The BSV Global Blockchain Convention is your gateway to engaging with scalable on-chain solutions and building long-lasting business partnerships. Turn ideas into reality. Propel your business forward. Join us at the BSV Global Blockchain Convention May 24 to 26 in Dubai. Data is double-edged. Wield it well and build your place in tomorrow. But trust it blindly and risk watching your progress crumble. Because much of the data we rely upon isn't reliable at all. At Enchain, we believe in data we put no faith in it. Instead, we build tools that enable enterprises to trust the data upon which they rely. Enchain. Data without question. Bitcoin mining. Bitcoin wallet. Blockchain. Stablecoins. Metanet. The evolution of money. Everybody is talking about Bitcoin today. But what exactly is it? Learn the basics from experts. Learn what Bitcoin is, how it works, and why it matters. Bitcoin 101, your ultimate guide to the fundamentals of blockchain.